Today I attended AMD's live showcasing of the AM5 motherboards that are coming down the line. MSI, Gigabyte, Biostar, and Asus were all in attendance and these are the highlights. ASUS started off strong with the Crosshair X670E Extreme motherboard with tons of I.O., plenty of cooling, 20 gigabits per second speeds for the USB-C, and 10 gigabit Ethernet. This thing also has Wi-Fi 6E compatibility and lots of PCIe 5.0 slots. ASRock came out strong with a very interesting lineup for their boards as well, and they did focus a lot on their cooling capacity, so we're going to see what that's actually like. MSI gave a great comparison between the older X570 motherboards and the new X670 motherboards with the power delivery, the PCB layers going from 6 to 10, and of course the extreme thermal design basically and how they're cooling all of this. And of course they had to flex their godlike motherboard with some really interesting power features. Gigabyte focused on PCIe 5.0 speeds as well as their thermal layers, basically allowing this motherboard to really cool anything you throw at it. They spent a lot of time on their Thermal Guard 3, as well as their dumb fast 20 gigabits per second USB 3.2 Gen 2x2 Type C connection. So definitely learn about this. All the motherboards have Wi Fi 6E. I'm a big proponent of this. Check out my other videos on Wi Fi 6E and its benefits. And Gigabyte showcased their Aorus Extreme for the X670E motherboard with a lot of really cool features, especially all of those PCIe 5.0 slots and M.2 slots. A tried and true favorite of mine is the Aorus Master though. I've had a couple of the Master motherboards with no issues whatsoever. Here's a nice spreadsheet of the Aorus lineup. Go ahead and pause. And then Biostar came out with what appears to be some affordable options as well. I am happy to see Biostar not skimping out on any of the I.O. In the end, it was a solid event.